guys, and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy X HD Remastered. Um, we just ended up beating Click, a little monster guy who attacked us after we fell asleep because we were freezing and our fire fell out. Um, and a mysterious sexy girl came up to us and helped us. So let's see what happens after we hit X and um, see what she has to say to us. Wow, look at those eyes. I believe she said sorry there. But that's just, I'm just kind of guessing. <laughs> His mouth, that was hilarious. <laughs> Kid, it died job. Hey, that hurts. Oh, Sujek, Rain. Whoa. Okay. Kainis. I don't understand. Fed! He said you can stay if you make yourself <gasps> useful. You... you understand me? All right, I'll work. All right, guys, so here's a save sphere. Let's hit that save sphere, of course. And look at that, that sexy blonde girl. She actually talks. Impressive, huh? We're actually going to go talk to her and see what's up, but we do have some things we can actually get while on this. Oh, our save's complete, so well, we're just going to kind of talk to these people. Um, right here, there's an Albed primer. As you can tell, these guys are the Albeds. The Albeds are a different race. They speak a different language. Nobody likes them, but... Um, or they had a hard time, at least, getting along with normal people of Sphera. Um, but yeah, you can find these all over the place. We're going to try to get all the ones we can. Uh, this is Y. So Y equals A. Titus has achieved the rank of Albed Hugula. Whatever that means. But we can talk to these guys before. And we actually got our first trophy. Speaking in tongues. That's kind of gross. Alright, so talk to each one of these guys. You get potions from them, and then this um, is a guy, you'll actually see him in X2, so just kind of remember his face. So after we're done here, well, all we just need to do is talk to this pretty blonde girl. Oh, almost forgot. Using the sphere grid. The sphere grid is used to develop your characters by activating nodes with spheres. Let's see how this is done. So we get to watch a tutorial, and we're actually going to go through this together. You can skip past the video, I'll put a no uh, annotation of when this is over. Um, well, let's go. Select Sphere Grid from the main menu. Our cur the cursor appears at the selected character's current position. 
Use left, right, up, down to move the cursor. Information on upgrades is displayed at the top of the screen. This location is for defense upgrades. While this one lets you learn an ability. These upgrade locations are called nodes. Characters are upgraded by activating these nodes. A character must move near a node in order to activate it. Let's go through this step by step. Of course, by pressing X, the cursor returns the character's position and a list of commands appear. Select Move. The di to display the number of steps the character can move. The number of steps a character can move is equivalent to his S level, sphere level, which is on the left by Titus's face. S level are gained by getting AP ability points, which are obtained by participating in battles. Characters must fight battles to gain AP and obtain S level, which are in turn used to move around the grid. In short, if characters do not participate in battles, they will not grow stronger. In this case, Titus has 4 S level, so he can move up to 4 steps. In general, you should be careful not to move too fast, as you may forget to activate nodes you pass over. So let's take one step, and learn the ability Cheer. Note that you do not have to be at a node to activate it. You can do it from an adjacent node as well. By selecting a destination, S level are spent and the character will move. When the character arrives at the destination designated spot, you will be asked to for final confirmation. If the destination is correct, select yes. So it's like a Windows computer, pretty much. At this point, the movement process is complete and cannot be canceled. If you want to activate nodes you passed over, you must spin S to go back. When you're retracing your steps, you can move four steps by standing one S level. However, going back every time is not very cost effective. Always plan ahead to avoid wasting your S. Now. Since the character is in a position, let's activate a node. To activate nodes, you must use spheres. Spheres are items that can be obtained by various means, but mainly by defeating enemies. Press X, and then use... A list of spheres currently in stock will be displayed. Every sphere has a special function. For example, power spheres are used to activate strength, defense, and HP nodes. While ability spheres activate ability nodes. Nodes that can be ac activated are the, n the node at the character's current position and nodes directly adjacent to it. This means nodes that are one step behind or ahead can also be activated. In this example, the only node that can be activated is an ability node so that only the ability node sphere can be used. When you select a sphere, the nodes that can be activated by the sphere at the position are highlighted. Ability spheres can uh, have been selected here, so only ability nodes will glow. By selecting the node you want, boom, it will activate and the character will learn the ability. Note that one ability sphere was used during this process. Use the same procedure to improve the character's strength, magic, HP, MP, etc. Power spheres, magic spheres, and speed spheres are needed to improve each corresponding step. Also, every node on the grid can be activated separately by each character. This means that a character can reactivate a node already used by another character by moving it to the... <laughs> Tutorials, right? Note that locked locks cannot be opened at present. Another tutorial will become available. Now that you know how to upgrade your character, let's look at the other grids and useful features. The character's current stats can be displayed by pressing triangle. Use this information to plan how you wish to upgrade your characters. Press L and R to switch between characters. This is useful when you wish to compare the character's stats and when you wish to quickly upgrade multiple characters. Press select to zoom in and, and out for a better view of your grid. This concludes the Sphere Grid Tutorial. Try improving Titus now. All right, so to do that, you just push, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. <laughs> you just push triangle. You just go to your Sphere Grid, select the character you wish to upgrade, 
and then you can move. So because I choose chose the expert sphere grid, um, we actually start in the middle of the of the sphere grid, which is pretty crazy. Because maybe I regret doing that now that I look at it. Um, let's see what he can learn though. Right now we're smack in the middle. Let's kind of take a look. So cheer is here. Everything's kind of mixed up. I mean, they've moved. Go up, up, up. Flee. So I'm actually not sure which way I want to go yet, but we're just going to start by going up because it looks like down is going to be more towards uh, re uh, the blonde chicks. Let's see what we have. So as you can tell, I mean, nothing is locked. If you've ever played this game, when it comes to the. Uh, just the normal sphere grid you can only go where you normally can this one has been maxed or reached out so that you can kind of follow which path you want to go whether you want to make a magic user or used to be magic user an attacker and then someone like titus to be a magic user but of course we're just going to make titus a an attacker of course i love his attacking ability and the fact that he's strong and let's see. So that's all we can do because we don't have any more spheres. We per se can't activate anything else besides cheer. So now that we have that kind of down and understandable, if you have any questions, please comment down below and I'll clear anything up if you have. And then we're just going to talk to Riku. I mean, some blonde girl. Ruins right beneath us. It's not active now, but there should still be some power left. We're going to go down there and activate it. And then we should be able to salvage the big prize. Mm hmm Okay, let's get to work. Roger. All right, he's fast to work. So we're going to go um, explore, pretty much, because we're going to be their little slave. Um, you hold circle to drive if you wanted to dive. If you wanted to go back up to the ship, you can. Um, and then obviously you just follow the red triangle on the screen. Alright, so just kind of hold it down. Obviously we're going towards the red lights. Um, there is going to be another boss battle here. And we are going to find some interesting stuff. Before another cutscene ha is going to happen. So we're doing pretty good so far, I would say. Now there is battles. So, but they're easy battles. You can just attack. Um, I would take Riku and kind of steal when you can, even though I didn't, I wasn't paying attention. But I would steal when you can, just because at the beginning of the game, Titus can mostly one-hit co most of these guys. And if not, then using a two attacks isn't going to hurt nobody. Um, you're going to have enough potions on later in the game to catch up. So uh, The best thing to do, obviously, is to steal so you can get your items all caught up and blah, blah, blah. Personally, I think so. You guys do what you need to do. That's just how I play the game, and I like to make it hard on myself for some reason, so. Oh, look, our lovely save sphere. I love you, save sphere. Love you. I really like the how they have the layout of everything. It's a really nice layout. Like, just the overlay of everything is just really nice. And as you can tell, everything in here is sharp. To the blue text on the screen that we can't read. To the details of the wall. It's all just really sharp and gorgeous. Um, there's not really anything you can get in here. You just kind of have to go straight. There will be some battles that you can encounter. If you plan to, for some reason, battle them. But I wouldn't bother. I would just go straight towards the boss. Alright, piranha attack. Alright, so here we have... We can steal, like I said. Like two grenades. That's not bad. You're going to want to stock up anyway. They changed the battle music. Oh, that's what I was going to bring up in last episode. The music they have remastered also. They have changed it. Oh, I don't want to use that. And have just kind of switched everything around. And I personally do not appreciate it. 
I listen to the soundtrack on YouTube all the time. And listening to it being changed, I do not appreciate. I love the music how it was. They did really good with this soundtrack. But I guess it's something new, something nice. They had to change something because maybe some people liked like this new remastered music. Maybe we're just different. Anyways, if you keep going towards the little X and examine this test tube thingy, we're going to break something and end up having a battle of boss. Woo! More boss battles for the win! Because as you could tell, the little guys didn't even give us any AP, so... Alright, so he's not going to be very hard. You probably will have to keep your HP up using potions and such, though. Um, but we'll, we'll see what we can do. Now that we activated that, we saw that giant squid-looking thing floating around. So we're going to go back. To be honest, I hate squids. They are creepy and scary, and their tentacles remind me of naughty videos that you don't ever want to watch. So, um, let's just steal once from him. Because you can obviously steal grenades. And then you're going to have him cheer. When you cheer, it raises the party's strength and defense. So, we want to get that up. Probably should have attacked him first. It would have been a better tactic. But I thought I would use that first. And then we'll attack with Titus. And then just kind of throw grenades at this guy. Now, his name is Tross. As you can tell, he's a squid. He has 2,200 health. Um, his steel is grenades. He doesn't really have a weakness. And you do get quite a bit of AP from him. Now, when he's like this, we're actually going to learn a new way of battling. Trigger commands. Special commands become available in certain battles. Press left in the command window to access them. Which is the same as your overdrive. So, standby obviously means you're going to stay there. And you get health by doing it. So, standby. And then he'll come around and use his Nautilus charge. And take a bunch of health from you. So, we're going to use a grenade again. Boom. And, of course, we're going to attack with Titus. Now, you don't want any of the characters to die. Because you will lose and have to redo the whole thing. You don't like that. Now, there is something that we are able to do around here. I just got to remember how to use it. Stand by again. And I th think we can go on attack. Because then he'll move around. No, he won't. So we use cheer again. Because we're awesome. Which raises our defense, which is very good. And then, of course, we'll use standby. Giving us extra health, so you don't really have to use a potion unless you're getting absolutely low. But I wouldn't waste it. Just because these battles are much easier than they look to be. He is pretty strong, I have to admit. But not as strong as you would think. I think we're doing pretty good, though. We might actually have to use a potion if he keeps attacking us like that. This tross, this squid, creepy thing. I think one standby for each of them should be enough. Pincer attack. All right, so we have a new trigger command, so let's try that. And you activate that by just keep keeping battling as the battle progresses. That's when that will appear, so... Meaning we cut him off so he can't do his stupid attack. We're going to use a grenade, obviously. It was good to steal from those fish. Just mean we had some extra and we didn't have to waste a turn on stealing from this guy. So, Boom. Tentacles. Stop. Stop. It hurts. Ow. Oh, we're going to use another grenade and hopefully that'll take him down. We don't have any information. We actually need the ability scan scan the information on the monsters we are battling. Just so you know, um, if you are really like to know, you know, who you're battling, his weaknesses, his strength, his life, scan is a good ability to go for at the beginning for you. And that would, of course, be in your sphere grid, and you would need an ability sphere to activate that. But we did it. We got our awesome AP window, along with our item window. Oh, this is so so gorgeous compared to the old one. Just compare and contrast, people. Um, let's 
go touch that save sphere. No, Riku, stop. Nah, we're good. We're not actually going to go touch it because we're going to be okay. So we're going to go out this hole with Riku. We're not going to go in any holes with Riku. Or blonde girl. I keep spoiling it. I'm so sorry, guys. I can't help it. And I think we've activated the island. Or the ancient, mysteriously salvage operation I have place. And scared off all the fishies. Goodbye, fishies! And then, of course, we just swim towards the red. The red. Like we always do. I always thought that this was like an underground... Or an underwater... Is that person drowning? An underwater, like, civilization. Because there was people floating around down there. I know, I feel like an idiot now that I know it was just the crew. I used to think, though. Don't judge me. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. The light's not very convincing, but... Alright, we made it guys. We've done our first little side mission part, which is pretty awesome. I think we're doing good so far. Titus, I mean, he doesn't understand what's going on. For some reason, he's just a blonde. But, thankfully we had this blonde girl here to save our hides. Hoof, <laughs> Wait, like, I don't think so. Hey! Hey, I helped out, didn't I? Ugh, hungry. That actually looks pretty delicious. <laughs> Probably not to eat with your hands, but it looks real good. Hey! It's because you eat too fast. Uh huh. Huh. <laughs> hey! Hello there. What is your name? Riku. Whoa! You really do understand. <laughs> Why didn't you say so earlier? I didn't get a chance to. Everyone thought we were a fiend. Uh, we? Oh, we means you. Um... Who are you guys, anyway? We're out bed. Can't you tell? Wait, you're not an out bed hater, are you? I don't even know what an Albed is. Where are you from? Xanarkin. I'm a Blitzball player. Uh, star player of the Xanarkin Abes. Did you hit your head or something? Um, you guys hit me. Oh, right. Do you remember anything before that?
So I told her everything there was to tell about Xanarkin. About life there, Blitzball, and Sin's attack. And about how Aaron and I were engulfed in this light. I just said things as they came to mind. But then I started to wonder. Did I say something funny? You were near Sin. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, you'll be better in no time. They say your head gets funny when Sin is near. Maybe you just had some kind of dream? You mean I'm sick? Because of Sin's toxin, yeah. You sure? Yeah. There is no Xanarkand anymore. Sin destroyed it a thousand years ago. So, no one plays Blitzball there. Huh? Wh wh what do you mean, a thousand years ago? But I saw Sin attack Xanarkand. You're saying that happened a thousand years ago? No way! Pretty intense, huh? What if you woke up, found these people who spoke a different language, found this sexy blonde chick in a very provocative outfit, and then you learned you're not even... Your life was a lie. It was all a lie. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the storyline so far. I personally love it. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.